All right, talk to me, Unc. At this. Yeah. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. I know. Go ahead, stare in admiration. I know you love it. Yeah, I love it too, but, but guess what? You can't have it. Well, you can. You got to holler at Ozzy about it, but you know what I'm saying? But it's crucial. I know, I know. Thank, Thank you for all the compliments that y'all about to give me. Now, before we get into Those this video, y'all wouldn't mind I'm doing me a huge style. favor by dropping a like, commenting, subscribing, turn on the notification bell, and please share the video if you like it. Thank you. And also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Take My V Card. And of course, he's still banned on Twitch? I'm not gonna lie, Twitch is crazy, because then a girl show her titties on Twitch and got a three-day? Of course, you have to follow the Twitter at DaquanDSG. And be sure to subscribe to the gaming channel because we've been wilding over there. Like, bruh, y'all always talk about consistency. Bruh, check out the gaming channel. Consistency is crazy. And then we're streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. Come over there and check it out. And then all of, if you become a member, you become a member, then you get to watch all the streams if you miss them. And now that we've been like weeding out all the weirdos, be sure to join the DSG Discord because you already know how I go over there, man. Yo, recently, what we've been doing lately, though, We've been giving advice on everything, financial literacy, self-improvement, fitness, anything that you need. And also, you already know we're going to be wilding. You know, that, that that's a given. It's DSG. You know what I'm saying? You can't expect anything less. And now, with all of that being said, let's get into this video. So I scroll through Twitter, as always. And I come across this tweet that says, I really love thoughtful men. Buy me gifts. Take me on trips. Check to see how my day's going. Put me on game. Show me how to get some more money. Feed me. Treat me like a princess. Heart emoji. <sighs> Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a whole fucking bunch. And you know what she has to offer in return? You guessed it. Coochie. And this is exactly what a lot of women expect and what they have to offer. So today, we are here to talk about why men are the prize. Now, I have no clue why it comes with a negative connotation when a man calls himself the prize, but could you imagine doing all of that for a woman and she still says that she's the prize? Now, fellas, in this video, I'm going to be saying that, like, men are the prize a lot because we are. But, like, when I say we, I, I ain't going to hold you. It, it's not all y'all niggas. Not all y'all. Like, I'm going to keep it a band with y'all niggas. Cause... A lot of you niggas ain't shit. A couple of us? Yeah, we the prize. Most of you niggas? But that's the beautiful thing about life. You can create your own worth. You can develop and grow and generate your own. You feel me? There's plenty of y'all niggas <laughs> that just ain't shit. Like, in order to be a prize, you have to have certain attributes. And I think a lot of us men, like, we actually understand that. You know what I'm saying? You have to have the ability to be a leader, a provider, a protector. You know, be sexually disciplined, which a, a lot of us aren't because, you know, niggas are fuck anything. It's me. I'm niggas. But I digress. Y'all women are swear to y'all are the prize because... Y'all have a vagina. Like, y'all be y'all be thinking that y'all are queens because y'all are women. Like, y'all do realize a king picks his queen? You know what I'm saying? Like, just because you bitches get hired at Burger King don't make you a queen. Ladies, just, just think about all of the shit that it takes to keep y'all happy. We got to give y'all love, attention, affection, gifts, trips, keep the relationship exciting, provide for you, protect you, give you emotional stability, financial stability, physical security, everything. Do you know what it takes to keep a man happy? Pussy. Suck his dick and buy him 2K once a year. And I, I don't even need shit, bitch. Just when I listen, man, just when a nigga get off the game, when a nigga done doing what he good at, a meal might suffice. You know, a nigga shoulders hurt every now and then. You feel me? I like a bath ran with some candles, motherfucker. You know what I mean? So, like, come on, bro. Look, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Women don't understand, bro. Well, a lot of them do. Ari, prime example. But, Ari, here's where you you stumbled up. You was giving the great shit to a fuck nigga. Can't be doing that. You got to find you one that's solid. And that king will raise up his queen, Ari. Because that great shit you was doing, somebody great deserved that, bro. 
It's like the good women be fucking with stupid niggas. And the shitty bitches be fucking with the good niggas, man. It's like, why we can't just, y'all you know I mean? Why good people can't just match up? <coughs> Crazy. I would say cooking and cleaning, but y'all bitches ain't even doing that. Y'all be so caught up in this, I ain't doing shit for a nigga lifestyle that y'all don't even do the bare minimum for men. And yes, ladies, I use y'all favorite phrase, bare minimum, because y'all love saying niggas do the bare minimum, but what exactly do y'all do for us? Just because a woman don't ask for much or don't ask for anything doesn't mean fellas give her the bare minimum. Now see, the thing is y'all love saying that, but, but, but what exactly is the bare minimum? Why do y'all think this bitch because a woman don't sit up here and ask you and ask you and ask you and nag you and beg you to give her shit or give her money or finance her or do anything for her? That means, oh, she doesn't need and want for shit. She says she shouldn't have to beg you for shit. I'm, listen, bro. A closed mouth don't get fed, okay? I'm not a fucking psychic, all right? I'm not reading your fucking mind. If you want something and we're together... And you're comfortable with me. Because that's the me most important thing about in relationship. When you get in a relationship, it's want to be somebody you're comfortable with. Somebody you can confide in. Why the fuck wouldn't you tell me what we you want? Why wouldn't you just be like, you know what? Maybe I should let this nigga know. Because maybe then he might do it. And then if I don't do it, you can't say you didn't tell me. But, like, imagine not telling somebody you want some shit and then being mad when it don't happen. It, as far as giving her money and, and of course, financing her, which would clearly be the same thing. But, um, ladies, do, do you not realize how many men have to beg their wives to suck their dick? Which I would venture to say requires minimal effort. It, it's free. And I'd even say it's the bare minimum. But when a man has to work for his hard-earned money, then finance you, what exactly is he getting in return? Now, ladies, I understand why y'all think that y'all are the prize. But w when you find the right man, do you not realize how much baggage and debt you bring to us? These bitches are like, the woman is the prize, the man is the catch. Bitch, catch his dick. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Ladies, I don't even know how y'all go around thinking that y'all are the prize. Like, when you find the right man, do you not know how much easier your life gets? This man really came into my life when I was broken and helped me become a better me. Made my life easier. I haven't paid rent in a year. I get flowers without asking. He educates me about money without making me feel dumb. Always plans date nights. Always giving me reassurance. MS. Fellas, has that ever happened to you? The fuck up. <laughs> Bro, what? I ain't gonna lie, chat. Name a time. I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I fuck with a girl, at least in, in, in history, it's always started great and just gradually gotten worse. It's never improved. Like... It's always like, okay, at the beginning, she's sucking dick. She fucking you like a porn star. You, She don't even mind watching you play your game. And then it slowly becomes, nah, she don't suck dick. Nah, she tripping when you're on the game. Nah, you can't even fuck that often no more. Y'all fuck once a week. You feel me? Nah, it's, oh my God, you don't do this. This bitch boyfriend do this. And it's like, bro. Shuddy, you ever wonder why niggas don't want to do shit for you? Because all you do is complain. Like, listen, chat. Who want to do something for somebody who just bitching and moaning? And then when I do something, it's not good enough anyways. Like, who, who wants to do some shit like that, bro? For real. How many of y'all would do some shit like that? No matter what, if you do something, it's not good enough. Because let's be honest. How many of you young niggas have the, the fee, the money, the tangible income? To take these women on the things they desire. And then those of you who do have that money, how hard do you have to work to get it? Because unless you're like a content creator, rapper, or like some high, I don't want to say high status because you could be high status doing like a fucking plumbing job or owning like a company. But unless you're like a large income nigga, which most large income men work long hours, even content creators, we be streaming for eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours a day. Niggas start streaming at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Look up, it's nighttime. Right? So, 50 hours a week. That's what I'm saying. So, even if, right, you are that high value man, bitches be wanting you to go out on date nights and shit. When do niggas have time for all this shit? If I'm the hard working, get into it nigga that you talking about, when do we have time to do this? Explain to me.
And if I do have all that time to be doing all the shit you want, the nigga probably not getting to no money. Now, this excludes rich niggas because rich niggas don't really work. Their money's money most likely comes from other sources where they can have more free time to do shit. You feel me? They talking about scammers. They love scammers till they get in that uh, abating and uh, abetting charge or whatever. Part about it is that regardless of if she sees her man as a prize, there's going to be some other woman out there still trying to convince her that she's the prize in that relationship. I remember when me and my ex had this conversation. And I asked her who's the prize in a relationship, and she said me. I was like, okay, well, let's just go with our relationship. You were the prize, right? She said, yeah. I said, okay. What exactly did you do in a relationship that I didn't? She couldn't answer. I cooked, I cleaned, I took care of the kids and paid all the bills here. And of course, I provided security, financial stability, emotional stability, and everything else. What did she do at all to become a prize? Be born with a pussy. When you find a man that fulfills all of his duties, you don't got to do that much. You don't have to court us. You don't have to plan dates, trips, buy us gifts. We like the love and affection as long as you allow us room to still be productive. You don't have to provide for us. You don't have to protect us. You don't have to lead or guide us. You don't have to instill wisdom. Upon. What the fuck do y'all do? Y'all exist. Y'all don't even have to give us the fucking bare minimum. How the fuck do y'all think all the prizes? Y'all be thinking y'all deserve the world just because y'all gave it the pussy. Like, what are y'all going to understand that sex is an equal exchange? Any nigga you giving it up to should be able to do whatever you ask. Simple. Like, do you not realize what it takes to get pussy? I guarantee you a nigga is doing exactly what you ask just to get the pussy. And, and if I'm not mistaken, with, with you finding your pussy to be so valuable, would you not want to give it up to someone that you deem as a prize? Now, now I know I keep saying that, you know, women think they're a the prize. And at the end of the day, it's just me saying it. Where's the actual proof? Well, glad you asked. Who is the prize in the relationship, the man or the woman? I think the man and the woman are the prize. I'm definitely the prize. I say the woman is the prize, definitely. Okay. I'd say the woman... Uh -oh. Yeah, you see how she uh, was contemplating? I'm pretty sure she was thinking, damn, men do a lot for us, for uh, our pussies. Is that, is that all we really give up to them? Because I feel like women, they do more in a relationship wise, as in like family, okay. um, household. Who provides the household and everything in there for you to do whatever <laughs> it is that you plan on doing in said household? That's it. That's all I got to say. It, would, it wouldn't be nothing on earth if it wasn't exactly. for a woman. Men literally built civilization. Like, you cannot be fucking... Talking about. I mean, like, okay, like the ego in me is definitely gonna say, like, I'm uh -huh. a prize, but like, that's fine. Everything that way. That's fine <laughs> that you think that way. You see how men have no problem with y'all thinking that y'all are the prize. But when we say things like this, we are called narcissist, feminine, sassy, and of course, to top it off, weaponized homophobia. Now, personally speaking, I would say that you hurl these insults because you can't fathom the thought of a man actually being the prize because you were taught to think that you are the prize. But I love when things like this backfire and we even see women calling them out for things like this because at the end of the day, even women know that men are the prize. No, but like at the end of the day too, like the man that stands next to you, the one that like represents you, that protects you, he's definitely a prize as well. Now you women love using the term gaslighting. You want to see a perfect example of gaslighting? I don't the know. man can be a prize, but, but who to is the prize though? But that's the question, who is the prize? You or that man? I mean, you, honey. You gotta love it. Now, look, one thing I've learned with women is this. When one woman can't give her own answer and there are other women around, they will always influence that woman to give their answer. Hey, duh, I'm a big prize, big bless, but I don't want no peasant. No, peasant? Bitch, you look like Kodak Black. A peasant would be an upgrade. I, I, don't, I don't want no bag of coal, so... We equal, just how I said earlier, you know, I want someone that know themselves, that love themselves. So if you love yourself, you know you a prize. I, 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 I respect that answer. Like, oh, I apologize yeah, about the Kodak Black thing. Cause you gotta be able to handle me cause bitch, I'm a prize. Uh, it, it's like you redeemed yourself and then brought yourself right back down. Like yo, any woman that ever says you need to be able to handle her is not a prize. That is a fucking child. But now that we've heard the answers, we, we know that, you know, most of them, well, all of them think that they're the prize. Let's go ahead and find out why. I have a uh, question. Yeah, go ahead. What do you bring to a relationship as a prize? And now here's where it gets good. Okay, me personally, um, I bring 
support. I bring, I guess, dude, like, what? This is so personal. <laughs> There's absolutely That's nothing what you personal mean. about it. that you can't answer it. I mean, as a woman, I'm gonna push you to be a better you, regardless if you see. Because I was doing that anyway. Or not, like, I'm just gonna continue to like push you to like see a part of you that maybe you've never seen. Um, I'm gonna support you regardless if it's good or bad. Um, aside from that, I'm gonna want to grow with you. I'm gonna want to, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Everything you said is something a friend could do. Man, all the shit she does. I gotta hear what she said again. There's absolutely nothing personal about this question. It's just that you can't answer it. I mean, as a woman, I'm gonna push you to be a better you, regardless. Yeah, your homies do that. Regardless if you see it or not, like, I'm just gonna continue to, like, push you to, like, see a part of you that maybe you've never seen. Your homies do that. Um, I'm gonna. Josh called me this morning. It was like, keep going, nigga. You feel support me? Support like... you, regardless if it's good or bad. Um,. So, homie? aside from that, I'm gonna want to grow with you. I'm gonna want to, you know, I don't know. <laughs> everything you said is something a friend could do. Shit, everything you said is something I could do for myself. Shit, if, if all it takes to be a prize is to be someone that pushes someone, then like, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> don't get pregnant around me. Cause I'm gonna be the prize of the first flight of stairs. Regardless of where you're at, like, I'm not gonna yeah. shit on you, you know? Like yeah, luckily we're not going to Dubai. Let's go to the next girl. For me, what I bring as the prize is me. Y'all see what I said earlier? It's like really dealing with a child. If you understood the burden a lot of you place on men's lives, you would not think that you're the prize. I'm with it. I'm a rider. You feel me? I'm a live for you. I ain't gonna die for your ass. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, what I do bring in the, on the table is I am the kind of person that is submissive and caters if I really like you. Submissive and you cater? Wow, the first real answer. And now, let the games begin. What was the question again? I'm sorry. Now, now, just a quick recap. This woman was very sure of her answer earlier when she said that women are the prize. And why they are the prize. Well, let's go ahead and see why she is the prize. I give you a baby. Here we go. Right? No, right? <laughs> Goddamn question. <laughs> what makes me the prize? Um, can you use it in a sentence? Girl, stop it. Girl, shut the fuck up. You can't even answer the question. You had no problem saying this shit earlier. So I say the woman because you don't need to the add. Woman, the it woman it is takes... the prize. <laughs> and now you can't think of any reason why you are the prize. Um, what I would bring to the table, you know, I would bring a lot of, you know, understanding. I'm the type of person mm -hmm. you know that um that you um you had you 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 could you do it's a lot of people that you would deal with that may um you could you do you you want i don't know how to explain they may judge you for like you know your past and who you are and things like that like, you know who judges you for your past and who you are and also will not fuck with you when you're down, but fuck with you when you're up, for the most part. Women. <laughs> so, to say that that's what you bring to the prize, when the moment a nigga tells you, oh yeah, you know, I live with my mama, and you looking at this nigga like, he a bum. Where's the correlation? Women love to say they'll help a man build and help a man rise up. But why are you, if you help a man build and rise up, why are you looking for a nigga that's already solidified? Why do women only want successful men? Why aren't you getting niggas that are in the growing stage and helping them build so you can build your empire together? No, you want a nigga who's done it already. So you can hop on and just be elevated from there. You feel me? That thing that you have been through and... Um, you know, a lot of people, they do, they do things. You could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want it. Bruh, in the beginning, she had all the answers. What the fuck happened to that? I, I, I say my answer because of the fact that I feel like everything comes from a woman. See, this is what you said in the beginning. If that was your answer earlier, then how come you can't elaborate now? 
Tell us exactly what comes from a woman. A Rivia baby. A Rivia baby? Like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. But a baby. You know, a lot of people, they do they do things that don't necessarily make up their character. You act like we creating a play on 2K. What the fuck are you talking about? Man, I bring, you know, a lot of, um, let me, let me get on his level. I, I bring a lot of good sex, you know, good, mm. you know, intimacy. I bring that energy. Yeah. We, we said no sex, though. That you will eat. Oh, yeah, you did say no sex. Bruh. And of course, when all else fails, resort to sex even when told not to. You see how these women have absolutely no clue what they bring to the table, yet they still call themselves the prize? So for me, what I bring to the table is like elevation. And in the simplest terms, it's like you can bring home groceries. I'll make you dinner. You give me sperm, I make you a child, I'll make you a home, I'll make you a like. A so now I just want to get the logic behind this because what makes you the prize is something any other woman could do. Those aren't unique things to you. You know why I'm the prize? Let's look at it like this. I could pay a bench rent. I could help you finance your car. I could, you feel me? I can provide certain things that a lot of niggas can. So therefore, I feel like, you know what? I'm worth a little bit more, right? Cool. But if I were to say, I could give you dick. I could lay in your bed. I could play games. I can stand behind you at Target while you swipe your card and hold you at your hips. Isn't that some shit any nigga could do? That doesn't make you a prize. That's just the literal, like, norm, nigga. Anybody could do that shit. Like, what? Bro. A family. I'll make sure that whatever you want to provide for us, I'll elevate it to the next level. You produce. I produce for you. Bro, finally another real answer that men would actually want to hear, but that is only two out of six. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a ride or die. I love hard. I'm a lover. <laughs> I'm a lover. <laughs> you just said that twice. <laughs> I'm respectful. I'm open-minded. The reason why this shit is the way it is because niggas be too limpy and went pussy so much that they let this... Bro, niggas is afraid to get canceled on the internet. Because you got to remember, nobody wants to be the outcast. So niggas conform to society. And internet has enabled motherfuckers to feel as though everything that offends you needs to be removed. Right? So if something offends somebody, oh my god, you offended them. Uh, point the finger. Oh, shame him. Shame him. Right? So when you live like that, motherfuckers don't want to get shamed. Motherfuckers don't want the finger pointed at them so they conform. I, I'm i not close-minded in a lot of relationships. I feel like people are sometimes scared to feel like they, they can't talk about certain things That's with their why partner. Like, I'm not judgmental at all. Even like, niggas I'm don't like Sneeko. And, and um, I'm, I just love to have fun. I'm spontaneous. Everything. Okay, <laughs> the so whole fact. She's a wife. No, although those are good answers. She's a wife. The woman at the end had to ruin it by saying, that's a wife. Had we said these same traits about a husband, y'all would not be agreeing. Now y'all women love saying that men don't know women. We don't truly know what women want, but at the end of the day, we have to know these things because we have to know female nature in order to get y'all. When we pose this same question to y'all, y'all actually don't know what men want. Notice how all these women said what they bring to the table and not a single one of them said peace. That is one of the main things that men want. How are you a when you cannot give the bare minimum of giving a man peace so in conclusion ladies I, i'm not trying to humble you or anything but like destroy mellis appreciate your prize i'm thinking that you're a prize just just because of what's between your legs you know what i'm saying like y'all girls love saying what please niggas help fuck anything. Cast, wrong with him? there's a lot of anything's out there that think they're a prize just because of that and fellas remember this you are not a prize just because you saw this video, my nigga. Like, don't, I'm not the type of nigga that's going to try to lie to y'all niggas, bro. Like, I told you, a lot of y'all niggas just really ain't shit. But, like, for the niggas who actually have the attributes to be a prize, feel confident in that shit. Know that you are the prize and put your fucking foot down on these bitches. So, thank y'all for watching this video. I appreciate all the support. He can't Until next cook. time. He'll figure it out. I'm going to holler at y'all.